What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and today I'm going to show you how to transfer Pokemon from Generation 4 to Generation 5. The Gen 4 games that you can transfer from are Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. So with those games, you need to make sure to do this correctly. You need to have two Nintendo DS's. So you can either have a Nintendo DS Lite, you can have a 3DS, you just need two DS's. So the first thing that you're going to need to do with your Gen 5 game, you need to make sure that you have completed the game. You need to beat the Elite Four, and then you need to go to the far east of the map. I'm going to show you right now the locations that I'm talking about. Pull out my flyer real quick. So I'm going to lift the DS up really quick so you can see. Okay. So you can see right here, Route 15, you have the Pokey Transfer Lab, and that is where you're going to be going. So you need to beat the Elite Four so you can unlock this location over here. And then you're going to want to get to the Pokey Transfer Lab. Alright, so let's hurry up and get it back down in place so we can show you what I'm talking about. And then we're going to enter the building here. And we are going to all the way to the top of the game. We're going to get right here. We're talking to this gentleman right here. Hey, the trainer, fantastic! Want to be part of the experiment of the century? You need a DS, two DS systems to play with Poke Transfer. Do you have a second DS system that you can use? Yes. So now, with the second DS, you need to turn it on. Okay, with your second DS system, you need to make sure it's turned on, and then you are going to go to this right here. I'm going to hurry up and shove this one right in your face. This is a Nintendo DS Lite. You want to go to the DS Download Play that you see right here. You want to click that and make sure that it's running. And then I'm going to show you because it's looking for the software. So we're back here. We're going to go ahead and click through this gentleman's stuff. Once you bring a Pokemon here, you can't send it back. Yep. Wireless communication will be launched. Yep. Save our game. Give it a moment here. Save the game. All right. So now we are going to enter here to where this crazy little crossbow is. And then we'll let the begin. All right. So DS download play. It gives you a quick version of how to run it. All right. So now with the second DS, I'm going to show you. Once you hit that download play, this is going to pop up right here. And then you're going to click that. And we're going to let start the download software. Yes. So all right. So that's downloaded. So now give it a moment as it downloads. All right. There it goes right there. So now you have sending data to the other DS system, which is coming from this one. And then you have loading on this screen right here. This is where this one houses the older game file, clearly. So this one has my Diamond and Pearl game in it. And this one that you see right now on screen is the black and white. So we have to give it a moment. Okay. So now we come to here and we click which ones we want to transfer over. So now you take out your handy dandy stylus really quick and you just shovel through which Pokemon you want to send over. I'm going to do, uh, actually, where is those gosh darn Pokemon that I was actually looking for? Um, let's find some really quick. And we're going to do, we're going to do these right here. So we're going to pick. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and pick these Piplup that I have. And we're going to go get the click, and you have to drag them to the location that you want. It's really unfortunate that you have to use a stylus for this. Um, but you're going to see why they chose a stylus in a minute. And, of course, I have to use my old broken down stylus. Uh, let's grab Aerodactyl then. And we're going to grab this Unknown. And we're going to grab this Arcanine. Cool. So then it comes to this crazy game. So now let me go ahead and let me switch DS's out real quick. Because you play the mini game on the older uh, system. So this is the system, like I said, that had the Diamond and Pearl game in it. So now we have to play this mini game. And we have to catch the Pokemon like so to uh, get them transferred over. So you have to do it before the time limit runs out. But they give you quite a bit of time. So it's not like that you're going to be missing anything. Oh, shoot. Got it. All right, cool. 
So you have to just make sure that you're going to be pretty prepared for this. Um, sometimes the Pokemon are pretty fast. Especially when like you come down to like the final bit. They are not messing around. So now we just stirred up both of them. Alright, we got one more Pokemon to get. Get out of there, Piplup. Alright. Pull right there. Boom. Alright, we got them all. Alright, so now, all those Pokemon are going to be transferred over to the other game. So now we're just waiting on this. Transfer over, and it says once the transfer, yep. And again, you have to use the touch screen. Saving a turn of power. And then shortly, we will be done. And that is pretty much how you transfer Pokemon from Generation 4 to Generation 5. Uh, be sure to have uh, Generation 5 complete. You need two DSs. Uh, we're not going to transfer again. Poke transfer will close. Turn off the power. Okay. So now we turned off this DS. We're going to put our handy dandy stylus away. And we're going to grab the second one right here which is right here in front of your face and we got them so hopefully get that back in sync for you guys we need that to become more focused there we go All right. so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you exactly where the Pokemon went they went right into the PC box right here there's the Piplup right there. There's the Aerodactyl, unknown everybody. So that's the whole squad right there. So that is how you do it. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. Let me know. But uh, that is how you move Pokemon from Generation 4 to Generation 5. All right, you guys, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one.